All right, so we're gonna look at an elevator example problem. So a couple things that happen in elevators. Remember, forces tell us about a change in motion. So whenever we solve elevator problems, it's gonna tell us about the acceleration, not if the elevator is going up or down, okay? Uh, so keep that in, in the back of your head and we'll, we'll talk about it a little more at the end. Um, the other thing that's new about elevators is when I'm standing on a scale in an elevator, depending on if it's accelerating up or down, changes the normal force being applied to me. If I'm just standing on stationary ground, or I should say a non-accelerating ground, um, my weight and the normal force are the same. But as soon as that ground starts to accelerate up or down, I get a different reading. And so when we talk about the normal force, this is what the scale reads. It's also known as your apparent weight. So if you're looking at a problem with an elevator and you see words like what the scale reads or apparent weight, they're talking about the normal force. So in our problem here, it says a 55 kilogram person is riding in an elevator and standing on a scale. The scale reads 473 newtons. Explain what the elevator is doing. All right, so by looking at my numbers here, 473 newtons, weight 55 times 9.8 because they gave us kilograms, so that was the mass, so we had to multiply by 9.8 to get the weight. So if I look at these two forces, weight is larger. What does that tell me? Well, that tells me that overall I have a net force down, meaning my elevator is accelerating down. Now I can calculate that number here. I can say, okay, I have 473 up, minus 539 down equals 55 times A. And I can go ahead and solve for A. And I find out that the acceleration is negative 1.2 meters per second squared. Again, this negative is indicating down. All that means is the acceleration is downward. That doesn't mean the elevator is moving down because if I'm moving upwards and my acceleration is down, what is that elevator doing? It is coming to a stop. It is reaching that floor it's going to. If the acceleration is down and the velocity is down, that means it's speeding up. It's starting to descend. And so we don't know necessarily anything about the velocity, um, but we do know the acceleration is down for our elevator.